Hey, hey, what's shaking guys? Look Dancy here. It is a very special day. We've got a very exciting product to talk about and we're gonna give you a sneak peek at his very next upcoming release too. But first today we're gonna be talking all about No Sense. You see his name right there on the packaging. Kyle Littleton, he is with me live today in a very familiar place. What's up Kyle, how we doing buddy? Going good, going good. Yeah, in the Murphy studio of all places. So I don't know where you're at, but uh, <laughs> I'm at your home place. Dude, it's so good to see you. Uh, quickly, if people don't know this, we're actually from the same stomping grounds. We both come from North Carolina. I think we represent the old Tar Heel State pretty good, huh? Yeah, most most definitely. Both from Slight Club, so uh, it works out. Oh, yeah. I want to talk a little bit about that later, but up first, we are here to talk all about this. No sense. Uh, very, very exciting times. Coin Magic doesn't get a lot of new plots, a lot of things that are abstract and different. This is just that. Um, and if you guys want to see a full, full performance of this, um, you can check out the trailer on the product page. There's the, the trailer showing you what Kyle just showed you and also um, a full performance with some real people. And I'll throw some of those clips up as we talk too. Um, actually, but, if you want, I'll tell you a funny story about that filming. Go for it, yeah. So we actually had uh, one of the girls, in, when you see the live performance, one of the girls there, I, had, I, I knew her and uh, we filmed in LA, so I didn't know anyone else there. And I just texted her and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm coming. We're filming this magic stuff. Uh, you think you can gather some people to come see a live performance of some magic? She was like, yeah, sure. Um, I did not tell her that it would just be them. They thought they were coming for like a TV type filming thing. And uh, so they come to where we're filming. And this place is in like a very sketchy part of L.A. And then they have to walk up uh forced like stories of stairs in an abandoned warehouse and then there's just this one room that's decorated really cool and they just walk in i'm sitting on like the corner just playing with the button and uh, i think they were a little scared for the rest of the filming of what they had just <laughs> I, I, we've got the clip up right now they're kind of sitting on the couch like where, wait where are we now <laughs> yeah they're like where, where? Where's the audience? We thought we were going to be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they sort of are. They're, they're on the internet, on, on magic trailers, magic shops all over the world. And um, we just saw the last change there to the button. Uh, it, it makes no sense, but it's great. I, lo I love it. <laughs> oh, it's great. Um, and that is a great looking spot too. But uh, it's always so, nice, you know, when, when products come out to be able to show a full performance of something and not just the quick edited trailer, which I know there's kind of, there's this yin and yang thing in the community. People want to see the trailer, they want to, they want to get excited, but then they also want to see the trick. It's like, you never can win. You know what I'm talking no, about. But most yeah. definitely. It's yeah. completely fair either side though. I get it. Yeah, I, I get it too. Especially when people want to, you know, spend their money to, to buy this stuff. Um, speaking of that, I've got some questions queued up for you. Right. Um, this one's going to be a, uh, we're going to kind of blast through a lot of these. We've got about half an hour here. So like, let, let's like, talk about like this. Feet. What's that? I said, never mind. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, the first question is um, talking about why this is such a unique coin trick. As I mentioned before, it's not every day that, you know, new things pop up in the magic world as far as plots or presentations. Um, let's talk about what makes this unique. And then we'll talk about what the unique presentation parts are, you know, as far as the angles and, and where you can perform this and stuff like that. So, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. So, I think the main thing that makes it unique is the presentation. Uh, but some of the things that I have the like, best experience with it is, is that it's kind of, it's something I've been doing for over like six years. Oh, wow. So it's something that has worked for me when I was doing kid shows. It's something that's worked for me when I did close up stuff. Uh, and then now currently like the number one thing I do is mainly like stand up and parlor material stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's still something that is fit in that repertoire. So it's like one of those, few tricks that actually works out to where you can perform it in many different situations. I think that's a, a big benefit of, of this, this routine. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another very cool thing is, as you see in the uh, trailer and as the performance we just showed, um, you can do this standing up, which is great because sometimes coin magic, you've got to be at a table, you know, you have to have a controlled situation. This works really well for stand up. It plays to a lot of people, uh, really opens you up to a lot of performing situations, right? Yeah, all happens right at chest height, which yeah. is very helpful. No one's hands or eyes ever have to be looking down. Yep. It's always right in that little, that really like Troy Hoosier school of thought. Yeah, dude, I'm all about that life. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's a question that just popped up live. And again, if you guys do have questions for us, feel free to uh, ask those too. That's why we're here, obviously, to help you out. 
Uh, Mark wants to know, he's got a question. He says, what's the reset like? You know, this is one of those things where um, you've got some things changing from one thing to another. Let's say, Kyle, that you're someone that's doing restaurant work and you want to go from point A to point B and do it again. How long would it take you to set it up to do it again? Yep. Uh, the reset is literally about five seconds. It uh, doesn't take long at all. And since it's smaller objects, you can do everything within your hand. So just as you're walking over to the next table, you can be setting it up without having to hide anything or go to the bathroom. So just a simple like five second reset. All right. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Um, the other cool thing is you're, you're resetting something. There are some some gimmicks included here. And I think that's one of the biggest things that's um, that's nice about this. One of the bigger things that's nice about it is you're getting um, multiple gimmicks here, but you're not breaking the bank. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of times when you buy oh, a, yeah. just one coin gimmick, you're paying a lot of money. But with this, you're getting a, a, a group of things here. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, but I'll let you take that over. Um, and yeah. it's very cost effective, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, uh, that was one of the goals when we made it. We didn't want to put it out. It was going to be something that was going to have to be overly expensive. But when yeah. you get it, you get three completely different gaffes. And each one of those can be used for a ton of other coin tricks. So it's nice that I think there's a set out there that has all three of these very common gaffes that you can be able to use for so many other things. Uh, but also it comes with a complete routine and you know something that I've used for a long time. Absolutely. I'm just showing a close-up picture here. We've got the button, we've got the English penny, and we've got the Chinese coin, which was actually something that uh, our friends there at Vanish Ink, the company you work with, that's actually unique to you guys, right? The Chinese coin. That's something that you guys actually put together, right? Yes. I can't remember what it actually says. It says something. I, I should have known that fun fact, but uh, <laughs> I can't remember. We uh, started producing coins, I think, cool. last year. I think it started after Triad Coin was the main, yep. like, the main start of that and now we have some things in the works and that, cool. that was one of them we put out our own chinese coin sets and yeah. stuff for a farming chinese challenge and things of that nature i just did a translation check and it says kyle littleton is king so i'm just oh perfect uh, there you go <laughs> I, I checked it yeah you, you might want to double check humble. that though. <laughs> uh, another question that's coming in live and again guys feel free to keep posting those for us the next one comes up from Nick Hennessy. Ooh, I like some Hennessy. Um, he says, what's the skill level? So that's a very good question. You know, when it comes to any trick, people want to know, is it something I can actually do? So to answer Nick's question, how hard is this to do, Kyle? Yes. Uh, so it's not tremendously difficult at all. It's got a, it's going to depend, of course, on your skill level with coins. So if you're someone who's done coin magic, you'll probably be able to do it within a day or two of practice. Uh, and then I'd say if you're completely new to coins, you know, it may take you a little bit more time. Uh, but the good news is on the explanation, we don't assume anyone's like been doing coin magic. So we go over every detail, every different change uh, in, in full detail. Then on top of that, we have also uh, we're going to be starting a Facebook group mm -hmm. for anyone who purchases the change or the trick. Uh, because, you know, as soon as you get it, this is one of those things where you can you can change which changes you're doing in the routine. So some people have decided like, oh, this one works better for me or, mm -hmm. oh, I'm not a fan of the way the last coin changes maybe. So this is the way I've come up with, with doing it and finding simpler ways or more complicated. But uh, we'll have a place where everyone can come and share their ideas to kind of simplify or push further in any of the technical abilities. Cool. Dig it. I know that uh, Facebook groups are becoming more and more popular with tricks because it is a good closed group area to you know, talk about stuff uh, and get the, and people can share their own ideas too, which is always fun. So it's good to know yeah, you can like be doing fun, that. Yeah, fun sessioning around, around the world. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, I love it when we can use technology to do good stuff like this, you know, connect people and well, yeah, we're all loving this stuff. And also so we can have people ask questions just like this. I know you were talking about um, different changes that you could do with the coins. Mark would like to know, uh, could you once so once you've done the trick, could you reverse it to change the button, the Chinese coin, and the old penny back to the coins? And that's that's something I didn't even think about. So good question out there, Mark. Yes, uh, you definitely can. In fact, I have a method for doing so. If you want, if you purchase it or on the Facebook uh, group, I'll I'll post it if people are interested. Um, cool. It's very easy, and then the change back takes about like with all the changes that you do, it's about an extra fifteen seconds of magic. Cool. Uh, personally, I don't, I don't do it just because I, I think it doesn't fit with the structure of the routine. But if he has different structure he's working with or a different, you know, story for the ending, then all to him it will work. 
Sweet. All right. Very cool. Uh, another question here is, I know we talked about uh, the gimmicks that you are receiving. Obviously, this comes uh, beautifully packaged. Very, very impressed with the packaging, actually. Um, but what do you actually get with it? Is there anything in there? Is there any do-it-yourself stuff? Is there anything you have to worry about? Because sometimes you do have to you know, tweak some stuff. But um, without giving away what it is, Kyle, what do you actually get with no sense when you package, uh, when you buy it, when you get this? Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's zero things you have to add to it cool. or, or anything. Uh, in fact, all the coins are put in the exact position they have to be in. So as soon as you open it up, you just kind of stack them up, put it in your pocket, and you can go. Um, it does come with the copper coin that you'll need. It comes with the Chinese coin. It comes with the button that's designed to fit with everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it comes with your three uh, different gaps as well. Cool. Um, and then the case that we use with it is a nice sturdy case. So you can actually uh, carry the coins around inside your close up box or whatever without having to worry about anything getting scuffed up or damaged. Uh, not that this is something that'll damage easy, but you know, just a little added uh, safety. The, the case actually works really nice for that. Sweet. All right. Yeah. It sounds like you guys covered every single angle on this. So yes, yeah. we took our time with it. This was, uh, we took it, we didn't rush this one out. Cool. Very cool. Um, you know, one of the cool things about doing stuff like this is that we have a very international group of people that watch this. We've obviously there's magicians all over the world that perform different levels, but um, what would someone do if they're not from the States? Do you have any, you know, that's just something that might pop up. Someone may be watching in the UK or let's just say India. I don't know. I want to do this trick, but I'm not from the U.S. Like, what would you say to that? Yes. Uh, so back when we were talking about what makes this coin trick unique, yeah. uh, I think this is one of those things that could be included in that category as well. Uh, the whole premise of the trick is that this trick makes zero sense. <laughs> so uh, the fact that they're not coins from your country only further makes the joke land. The joke of, to start off, I have three half dollars. That's not even the part that makes no sense. That joke's only stronger for you than it would be for me, because in that case, it's even less common that you would have them. So uh, I, I see no issues with them. In fact, I, I see it as a, a massive positive. Cool. All right. Um, I, I got to ask this next question, because you just said something when you answered that, which was, the routine makes no sense to begin with, so, you know, we answer the rest of that. But... Based on that, how did you come up with this? You know, this is something that's so abstract and different. I guess from the creative standpoint, like what even made you come up with something that, that makes no sense at the end of the day? Yeah, you know, I so I originally came up with the uh, the handling and filmed it and was pretty excited about it. I was like, oh, everything looks good. I like the I like the way things look. Yeah. You know, it just like same issue I have with all coin tricks is I just thought ah, I I don't know what what the point of of this is and I, I don't know why I should be showing it to people and I, I was sitting around with some friends and we were all kind of talking about music and different bands we liked and uh, we kind of had this realization of how many of our favorite songs we had no clue what the meaning of them were uh, they kind of seemed pointless to us but we just liked maybe a certain lyric in it or uh, you know a certain chorus that stuff like that and then it's kind of in that moment I, I just realized like every other aspect of pop culture has things that don't make sense like there's you know donnie dorco has a massive cult following of a film and no one has a clue what that plot's about <laughs> uh same with many different bands and uh it just kind of made me realize like oh why can't i just do a coin trick that makes no sense so i started going out and testing it as just kind of that and just kind of a premise of like hey i i'm very self-aware some of the stuff i do doesn't make any sense and it, it worked really well also became like this thing that i realized oh this this is going to set me up well for this next thing that I've always wanted to do, but maybe I knew it was a little out there. Mm. It really became like a nice bridge for me to like go and experiment with some other stuff. And uh, so that's kind of how it, how it came to be just like big inspiration from films and, and music, I would say. Cool. All right. And I was just showing some of the, the trailer here. I love how smooth uh, the, the changes are. We just saw the half dollar change to the Chinese coin here. Um, so you can't. Of course, that's not something that um, just happens by itself, you know, to get it to look right. that smooth. But I, I do love how slow and, and smooth that the changes are happening from one coin to the next. And, and you know, as a performer, too, I love that it's all happening at chest height, you know, up here, uh, place to a lot more people. And based on that, too, 
I'm curious, you know, the, the slow style, uh, and also I know you're just a really funny guy. I know that's something that a lot of people may not know about, but you're just really, really funny and quirky. Um, Magician-wise, uh, who, I guess, inspires you, or who were some of your favorite magicians that may have actually helped you to get from creating magic to the way that you create it now? I'm interested in that, too. Yeah, so um, a lot. There's, there's a lot of people. I'll, I'll, I kind of just have, like, three that I'll go off of all the time. It's just, like, the three basic ones. Mm -hmm. um, I would say Scott Robinson, who I know we both are are friends with and familiar with, yep. uh, but many people may not may not know of him. He has this ability uh, with a lot of magic to just get straight to the point, like ignores the three, four phase routines and kind of just gets straight to what's like the best climax of the trick and then just does that. So he also has like a very strong technical ability and all that. So in that regard, mm -hmm. that was a big inspiration for me. Also, he has a lot of quirky, fun type of magic. So. Uh, he was kind of my start of like big inspiration, especially in the creating realm. And then I'd probably say Rune Clan, Amazing mm -hmm. Jonathan. Those are like two, you know, big inspirations. I find them hysterical and just they're two perfect examples of guys who just do whatever they want. There's no, cool. it doesn't necessarily have to make sense. Um, and then probably Josh as well, Josh J. Mm -hmm. uh, not just he's my boss, but uh, <laughs> you know, his, he was a big inspiration for me growing up and. Uh, someone who has really combined storytelling and magic, which are two things I'm a, a massive fan of. So Sweet. yeah, I'd say those are probably like the three or four guys that I would put at like top of the inspiration list. Sweet. Very cool. I could definitely see a little bit of them in, in your work, which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah so that's fun. Um, we got a couple of live questions coming in too, and then we're going to actually give guys that are watching, either they're live or later, an exclusive look at your next release, which I believe is dropping tomorrow. We're going to actually have you show them what the trick is. So stay tuned for that, guys. We got that coming up in just a second. And there's a really big bonus to go with it that I'm actually really surprised that you decided to do. But first, let's get to these questions, all right? Um, this one in particular, because I think it's something people should know. JR's got a great question here. Um, and it is, can you examine the objects at the end? If not, what do you do if somebody wants to look at the coins? I know the answer to this, and I'll let you take it away. This is a good one. All right. Uh, so the answer is yes. Uh, all of them can be handed out at the end of the routine. Um, it's surprisingly not something you have to stress about either. The only one I've ever been asked to have examined was the button. <laughs> I don't know why that is. For some, I think it's just because it's the strangest of them that they didn't see coming and there's like a, a, a cuteness to it that they want to see um but yes all the other coins can be examined as well but the the main one is is the button but everything can be examined perfect yeah we yeah. go over that fully on the on the download it's great yeah i knew that coming in and i think that's probably to me one of the best parts about it is that yeah here want to look at these here go for it yeah <laughs> uh the other question that pops up and then we'll jump into your other release which is called 3g um Jace Pat would like to know, uh, does it require a lot of sleight of hand? I know we talked about the difficulty level, uh, you know, to make it look good and all that, but when it comes to it at the end of the day, is there a lot of work involved to make this look as good as you do? Yeah, so there's actually two moves and that's it in the routine. You just do those two moves uh, uh, multiple times. Right. So once you get those down, you're, you're pretty well set. There's not, you're not going to have to learn seven different techniques. You're just going to have to uh, either already have the knowledge of the move you're going to have to do. Uh, and one of those moves is about as simple as it can be. And then the other one is like a pretty like standard coin type move. So it's not going to be anything out of the realm of uh, anyone who does coin magic. Perfect. All right. So uh, I, I'm very excited now to give the guys an exclusive look. This is not being seen anywhere else. I'm actually going to put the, uh, the artwork up of the product packaging here. Are you ready, Kyle? Should I do it? Or actually, you tell me. Should I yeah, do yeah. it? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So here it is. What is this, Kyle? What is this? It says 3G. What, what is this? What is it? Yeah. Uh, so I'll show you a couple of the things that are on it. There's, there's a lot included, but I'll show you just two of the things. How's that? So yeah, I'm down, man. Let's do it. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so for this, I am going to move the camera just a bit so we can make sure to see it properly. So I'll just move that down here real quick. Cool. I'm going to go back to you. Here you go. Oh, I love the shirt. That's, That's great. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Actually inspired the cover of that of No Sense. <laughs> nice. Um, but uh, so 
I, I actually stopped chewing gum. Uh, that's true. Uh, not because I don't like the taste. I was just tired of people asking me for a piece. That's the, uh, that's the main issue. <laughs> I don't notice this, but every time you pull out a pack of gum, everyone becomes like tremendously greedy. The exception is if you pull out a pack of Big Red. Nobody likes this gum. This is a, it's disgusting. The issue is when you start running into like uh, mint flavored gum. Nice. That's when you get people who want want a piece. Issues they just have bad breath. The uh, the the worst though is if you pull out a pack of juicy fruit. That's, nice. that's the worst one. You're not gonna want just one piece. You might as well just give them give them everything. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's one of the yeah. things. And then we'll go into uh, this, which uh, we'll talk about here in a moment. But uh, so I have here uh, a few bills, just like not a lot, just like four four dollars or so. There's not a lot you could buy with four dollars, right, Luke? Mm, yeah, not these days. No, no, not even a decent coffee. What if you had magic powers? What would you do with four ones? I would love it to change into four hundreds. Four hundreds? Let's yeah. see. Yeah. Bam. Just like that. That's <laughs> one, two, three, four hundreds. They can be seen front and back, and at the end, everything can be handed out for examination. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. So. Uh, I, I can't believe, first of all, that we had a chance to show this stuff. I didn't know we were going to be able to do this today until we actually connected. Um, yeah. So 3G, the first trick, and then we'll talk about the bill change because that's something that you guys are actually going to freak out when you find out what's going on here. Um, here's the packaging again. 3G, obviously you get multiple changes uh, with a pack of gum. Uh, Kyle, like I didn't, you know, I didn't see that coming. I know that you're known for your, your very, very good card work, your coin work, obviously, but I didn't see this coming. When I heard that you had a trick coming out with candy, I'm like, like Kyle? Kyle's doing magic with candy now? All right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, a kind of a, a bit about what this is. is sure. it's, uh, 3G is a routine I've been doing for probably seven seven years or so. And wow. it's, uh, so the basic thing that you get is you're going to get the gimmick that allows you to do the gum change. Now, a couple things about this because I know people have questions about kind of like standard gum stuff is that uh, the material that we haven't made out of is made out of a material that's not going to just rip in your pocket or anything, so it's, it's much stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, the gimmick I've been using, I've been using for about uh, eight months now, and my one before that I had for uh, five years, so five, six years. They, they last a good amount of time. Uh, all the gum can be handed out. You can hand out the gum beforehand. They can have pieces. Afterwards, the whole pack can be handed out. The gum inside can be chewed. Uh, and then... Uh, they learn that it comes completely made as soon as you open it, and then on top of that, there's a bunch of other things included, which we'll we'll get into as a uh, as we continue. Cool. All right. So uh, pre-made gimmick, which is a huge plus, um, and you can hand out the gum at the end, which is great. They can they can have the gum, which I love your presentation because it's true. Every time you bring out candy, they're like, "Oh, can I have some?" Like, "Oh, I have all these new friends now." Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, very cool, and like you said, it's made out of a, a more durable material, which is cool too. I didn't know that, so it's gonna it's gonna last longer. That's great. Um, That's important because it's not. Yeah. I'm I'm so sloppy as uh like it, when it comes to like just <laughs> throwing stuff in a case and then I'll leave it in my car so I can yeah. or just in my pocket and so I needed it to be able to last. It's not gonna. Yeah. You don't have to. Worry about that. And I do want to say something too. When I had a chance to see the the work on this, this is not something. There's a lot of magic that comes out these days that's kind of finicky and um, flimsy and breaks easily. You know what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with this. The way this is made isn't like that. I just want you guys to know that, that this is something that actually is made to last. Uh, it really, really is made to last. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's with this and kind of with no sense, they're both like things that could work on the Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. I sound like an old man there. It's like <laughs> it could work on Instagram. It can work in, in that world as well as in real life. That's the that's the big important part that uh, it's stuff that is going to last you and you don't have to worry about anything breaking on you. Absolutely. So guys, keep an eye out. This is popping up tomorrow. 3G, Kyle Littleton, another piece of uh, very workable, practical magic. Uh, and the cool thing about that one too is it's not going to break the bank either. So uh, keep an eye out for that, uh, I think, tomorrow. But if that wasn't enough, we sound like a, uh, a one of those commercials on TV, but wait, there's more. Uh, <laughs> why did you show us the bill change, Kyle? Why, why did you decide after showing us a gum trick that you should show us money magic? Why, why would you do that? Yes. Uh, so when we were initially talking about putting this out, 
I kind of wanted to share the whole routine that I do with this because uh-huh. it's not it's not just a gum change that I do. Uh, the main routine that I do, I change the gum and then I hand out, uh, I give my wallet away and then I turn ones into hundreds and then uh, my watch all of a sudden it turns visually into a phone and then there's a surprise ending as well that I won't ruin on here. I'll let people see the video. But uh, I wanted to be able to share all that and for me to do that, I had to teach everything in the routine. Uh, so all of that gets taught. So one of the things in that routine is 400 Lux, which is a product I put out, I don't know, like two, three years ago. Uh, and it alone costs the same price as 3G. Uh, and we teach it fully in detail on the explanation of 3G. So not only are you getting a completely made gimmick, uh, everything's set up like as soon as you open it, the gum change is ready to go out of the box. You'll get to learn 400 Lux for completely free. Uh, and then also all the bonus stuff as well. So the watch change and, and all that is included. So it's really? kind of like a, a packed in thing of just some of my favorite visual magic. I know people right now are staring at their computer screen going, wait, are you serious right now? Like if I buy this trick, I get to learn a bill change too. Like that looks like extreme burn, but you can hand out the, the bills at the, like what? Are you serious? Like- yeah, I, I should mention in case people don't know what 400 Lux is, the the benefit to it is there's zero arts and crafts. Right. Uh, so there's no glue. There's no gimmicks. You can literally go to the bank teller, pull out the money, uh, and then perform it for them before you leave. That's that's how simple it is. It, it's a very easy thing. You have zero arts and crafts involved. So that's very rare in bill change magic, <laughs> and uh, this is especially for a multi bill change. And that's one I've been I, I've been doing for a long time, and it's uh, it's. I'm excited to get to share it uh, with some extra little touches with everybody. That's great. So there you go, guys. As a, as a bonus, uh, you heard it here first. If you end up picking up 3G, which I know you want to, um, 400 Lux comes with it absolutely free. You get to learn how to do that too. So, uh, you know, more bang for your buck. There you go. That is uh, very, very cool. And it makes sense. You know, like you said, you do the whole routine the way that you do it. And you want to give that to people. You don't want to just give them here. Here's a trick you can do with some gum. Like, you want to give them the way that you actually do it, which uh, says a lot about you. So that's that's respect, man. That's respect. Thank you. Another yeah. fun fun thing when when the trailer actually drops, and you'll see the live performance because we'll share the live performance of the whole routine. Cool. Remember the story of those girls being a little creeped out of where they're at. Then when you see the ending of that trick, I think that was the breaking point for them. Where they, I, like I said, I haven't performed that here, and it, I'll save it as a surprise for when they watch it. But cool. that was uh, that was probably their biggest confused moment of the day cool all right all right that's great uh, we had a question popping in here real quick um because I, I know that there was there's something else added with 3g um mark wants to know uh can the 3 uh, 3g trick be done with uk gum now if i'm not mistaken there is a template that is included too but i'll let you take that away obviously because this is your trick so yeah yeah so uh actually the gum that we've chosen is like the most popular gum around so i actually recently just was in london doing some stuff and performing and i found all the gum that i was using over there uh, so that you don't even have to worry about so the gimmick is made up set for you uh, but if you're in a country where this isn't a common gum or maybe the writing would be spelt different or things of that nature uh, we do we supply you with a full template of different popular gums from around the world so you'll be able to just easily customize it for yourself without any any stress so I, I guess the biggest question of the day is, what haven't you covered? <laughs> you seem to have thought of everything with your tricks, which again is kind of rare these days. I hate to even say that, but you, you've covered every single angle. But I guess it makes sense because it's got your name on it. Uh, you, you know what you're doing. You've done this stuff as well. You mentioned each one of these tricks you've been doing for at least like five years. Um, so you've worked it and it shows uh, with, with your work. So uh, very, very excited to... Uh, to see this stuff popping out. Um, any any last things you wanted to say about 3G or 400 Lux that comes as a bonus uh, with with that purchase? You know, I no, I'm just yeah. you know excited for people to get to see it and see yeah. what they they do with it. And you know, I think that's it. Just excited for excited to get to share. It. That's that's the last thing I'll say about it. Absolutely. So as we start to wrap up. Um, don't forget guys, the, the main thing we've been talking about today is this guy right here, No Sense. This is something um, that I know you're gonna love to do. You've probably seen the trailers floating around. There's been uh, people popping up talking about this. There's been some videos floating around of people giving their testimonials, some really good guys like Alan Roarson, uh, Curtis Cam, Buddy Farrell Dillon, and it goes on and on and on. 
Um, but the cool thing is if you wanna see this live, if you wanna actually see Kyle demo this, where are you gonna be soon uh, that people can actually walk up and see you doing and demoing this stuff? Yeah, uh, so I will be at uh, Magic Live coming up. That's the, the soonest one that I'll be at. I'll be at the Vanishing Ink booth, so I'll, I'll be there, I'll have a little area, and I'll, I'll perform all this as well as some other cool guy stuff. So happy to show anyone or answer any questions if anyone wants to come up or just say hi. All right, sounds good, sounds good. Um, I guess because you mentioned the Vanishing Ink booth, is there anything coming up that you're excited about from your team? I know there's probably not a lot you can say, but is there anything coming up that you think we should look out for when it comes to any of the Vanishing Ink products that you guys have been producing? Most definitely. So I'll mention, let's see. I'll mention one new thing okay. that we'll be revealing it live. Cool. And then I'll mention two old things that just came back in stock that I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. So Blomberg Laboratories has been out of stock. Uh, to anyone who hasn't read that book, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. One of the best that we've put out. That's not back in stock. And then also, uh, as I mentioned earlier, one of my favorite magicians is Rune Clan. And uh, his book was a big inspiration for me. Some Sweet. awesome quirky magic in there, uh, coin tricks as well. And it's separated into two parts, which is really cool. The first part is all like knuckle bust and card and coin magic. It's really visual and fun. And then the second half is made to look like a comic book. <laughs> and it is all his just out there stage stuff. So it's very, all like, parlor stage comedy uh, all in the second half and i'm a massive fan of that book so excited that's uh being on reprint we'll have those at live um and then the thing that is not released yet is a trick called socks uh which again i get excited for anything that's uh, a prop that is not normally used <laughs> uh, and socks are definitely one of them uh, so it's it's kind of like rematch uh where you know you'd have two piles of cards and they get mixed and you they end up finding all the mates to them. Uh, so the way this trick works is you have two stacks of cards that have socks on them. Uh, they're all different, but the matches are in each pile. So one pile here has like the match to these over here. Mm -hmm. And spread to show they're all mixed. And then you just deal and tell them they say stop wherever they like. And where they stop, they land on what looks like two socks that don't match. And then you get all excited. And you're like, oh, it's a perfect match. Uh, and then... You say, no, it is a perfect match. And you look down at your feet, uh, you lift up your pant legs, and you're wearing the exact socks that they stopped on. <laughs> and then, and that's that's always a fun enough experience. And then that's as cool. you snap, you spread the cards, and now uh, every single card in the deck has now straightened itself out, and it's a, a perfect match. So a very, you know, cool. strange, like, quirky trick, but really fun. I, I It was one of those things where it, we started packing it before we knew what the trick was. Uh, at the warehouse, so all of us were kind of like, what are we doing with socks? <laughs> but as soon as I had a performance, it got great reactions, and it's uh, it's been something pretty fun to be doing. So that's kind of what I'm excited that'll be at live. There's going to be plenty of other new stuff in that that I cool. I can't talk about or, you know, I don't uh, don't know if I'm supposed to, so I, I, I won't. It. But definitely come up to the booth, but th those are some things that I'm I'm pretty excited about. Sounds good. All right. I could definitely see that that last one you mentioned is definitely right up your alley, the trip of socks. Yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> yeah. fun. Yeah. Pretty easy to it see that. Works yeah. good close up or anywhere. It's just fun. Sweet. Well, uh, Kyle, I know we're uh, pretty much a, a few minutes over the uh, half an hour mark, uh, so uh, I promised you we'd stick to that. So we, right. uh, we're going to start to wrap things up here. I do want to say thank you, uh, obviously, for your time. Um, you answered a lot of questions. Not only that, if you guys are just joining us, I'll perform three different pieces of magic on here for you too. So rewind, watch the replay when it pops up, check those out. Uh, and also don't forget again, he does have another new release popping up tomorrow called 3G. Um, but the one we're talking about today is no sense. So um, Kyle, man, thanks a lot. I can't wait to see you out here in Las Vegas for Magic Live. So safe travels and keep up the good work over there, man. You're crushing it out there. Uh, thank you so much, Luke. I appreciate uh, you putting this on and uh, everyone for putting their comments in that in. Really, really appreciate it. All right, man.